Hello everybody, welcome back to some more DK64. Last time around, we got through all of Jungle Japes, uh, got all the bananas, got all the blueprints, got all the banana fairies, and the arena. Unlocked the weapons for all the Kongs, and beat the boss of the area, which was an armadillo that really should not have taken as much damage as he should have, well, took as much uh, trouble to defeat as he should have, where he blocked damage from the TNT several times over. This time around, we're gonna go ahead and take care of a few things on the island before we get started with Angry Aztec level. Uh, so, to begin with, we're gonna go ahead and switch out to the Lanky Kong here and go back around the back of this. I forget his face, his building that he's prison, that he's locked up in prison. Um, and shoot the switch. And lo and behold, we got Lanky Kong's first banana for the island. Sweet. The first actual banana outside of the um, the freebie that they give to start you off with being able to go into World 1. Now then, staying as Lanky, we're going to go ahead and go inside and take care of some stuff. Not necessarily take care of the key just yet, but um, if I can get the camera to turn... Oh, I guess we'll go ahead and take care of the key. It'll probably be a little bit faster this way. Um, there's a thing where we gotta activate a switch and sprint to a gate that's gonna close really fast to get to another banana, so we'll take care of that, and... Yeah. Come on, cutscene, hurry up. Need to get on with this. Not necessarily speedrun, but, you know, need to take care of business. Now, I forget if the barrel's on this side or on the other side. Um, well, there's a switch, but the... Does the barrel appear after I hit this one? No, the barrel's right next to the gate. I should have known. Alright, well, that's a little bit of a fail on my part. As you can see, eight seconds on that timer. We can't get there by normal means because we're way too slow for that. We get like three fourths of the way there and then the time runs out. And the gate cut closes pretty fast, so I would not want to get stuck underneath those spikes as it's coming down. Now, here we have Lanky's uh, special barrel. I don't know if I've went over all the different special barrels or if I went over any of them at all. But anyways, uh, Lanky's allows him to go extremely fast, and thus, with two seconds to spare, we actually managed to get the banana there. So that kind of tests to how fast we go compared to when we were going normal. Uh, we were like only a third, three fourths of the way there before the gates closed. I am too tired to do math in my head like that to be able to figure out how much of an increase in speed that is, but. It's very significant, nonetheless. Um, trying to decide what I want to do here. Do I I kind of want to go as Diddy for this one. Um, there's some stuff inside of here that requires Diddy to activate. Since we have all the moves early on, uh, this is introducing Chippy Charge on these gongs here. As we hit them, they go into the ground, and activating both of these results in this floor opening up to have a minigame barrel show and rise from its grave. Um, I want to say that you have to play as Tiny Kong to get to that barrel, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, if I could... There we go. Tiny Kong also has a little alcove over here, or a little switch that we can shoot to open up an alcove, I should say. Um, I'm not entirely sure what's the point in this area over here. I could not really ever figure it out, but, um... There's a giant switch here. I'm assuming you can bring a boulder inside to be able to place on that or something. I have no idea. I won't really worry about it, but anyways. Moving along, we'll go ahead and jump up to here and... Fail at getting to the minigame barrel. Alright. Uh, take two on that. jump up on here this time to do it. And still fail. Thought I can get a little bit of extra air, like increase the hitbox a little bit by doing the uh, ground pound there, but that wasn't the case. Okay, third time's the charm, maybe? Nope. The head just goes right through it, and it does not... I'm trying to figure out the angle I need to go, but maybe... Okay, that should have it. Yeah, there we go. Those barrels are so hard to get into at times. 
So, welcome to Big Bug Bash, one of my least favorite, probably like second least favorite of all mini games in this game. It's not too hard, it's just tedious and boring because you're. And then sometimes a flash water can go right through the fly and not count. Other times it can barely clip the very edge and count. Like that. I, it's just, it's very random. I don't like it. Which it is, it's, it was limitations for the N64 era, but still. Just two more of these bastards to go. Come on, you stupid bug! Fucking die already! Jesus Christ! There we go. What's more annoying is that fucking and irritating laugh that they have. It's like, it frustrates you to the point where you just keep going faster and faster with the fly swatter trying to hit it and then you keep missing because of it. It's like, ugh, shut the fuck up, Pog, let me kill you already! Anyways, that aside... Can you, like, ground... There's no boulders to pick up here, I wonder if you can, like, ground pound the switch inside to actually... Uh, get it to activate. Or if, like, there's anything I'm missing in here. Nope. And it doesn't look like there's anything I'm missing in here, so... I have no idea. It's been so long since I've played this game, and then even still, I don't think I've ever bothered with those kind of things when I played. But anyways, moving along, wasted enough time on the island itself. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Oh. Introducing the ghost of, um... Of what's her face? Wrinkly Kong. Yes, the one from Donkey Kong Country 3 that we never get to see again at the end of it because she dies. Very tragically. So, Angry Aztec. Very straightforward start here. One linear path that we have to go through, kind of like a. Uh, with Jungle Chase, where we had to go through that beginning there. There's just like a windy path from a jungle entry to a cave, back out to the open. Except this time we're underneath the tomb-like crypt area, I guess, is the best way to describe it. Oh, I did not realize I was that low on crystal coconuts. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab these here. And then jump over to here to grab these. Um, how do I... there we go. Gun is very effective for killing crushes at range because it's like 10 shots or so will kill them. And there we go. Ow! Fell off into the sand for no reason. And then making use of the damage boost to get back to safety. Take that watermelon slice, thank you very much, and... Exit the, the crypt, tomb, cave, whatever you want to call it. And we see a llama in a cage that is very important, apparently. Like, this is not just any ordinary llama. This is a very special one because the camera has to zoom in on them while they're trapped in a cage. But anyways, let's go ahead and grab these crystal coconuts before I actually go inside because I'm needing them. Very early trough and scroff portal right there, I'm guessing for, like, easy access to swap to these different Kongs, even though there's a barrel just right across from the other side of the map there. That doesn't take long to get to, but whatever. Some people might not want to cross the dangerous quicksand path that you can easily jump over. Go ahead and get the DK bongos for Donkey Kong, and then everyone else has their own unique instruments, just like in unique uh, weaponry. And her upgrades increase how many musical instruments we get to use. Like, the maximum we can hold, kind of like ammo. Except definitely not 200 of them. And then also, um... She's in charge of giving us extra melons. As you can see, first upgrade comes with a free melon, so... Now we have... Uh, I forget if it's the first upgrade or if it's just buying the, uh... The musical instrument itself will grant you the the extra melon. Grab those extra coins with Tiny Kong because- oh. 
This is why I don't speed on this game. I am terrible with the platforming of it. Dear God. Anyways, as I was saying before, I so rudely interrupted myself there. <laughs> Grab the coins around the barrel there to be able to get some extra coins to afford these upgrades from Candy Kong. That way, the rest of the Kongs only have to worry about just getting their instruments. They don't have to worry about getting the, the additional melon. And I want to say there's another upgrade. Yeah, there's another upgrade for nine coins, so they don't have to worry about getting that one either. I'm assuming that the melon comes standard with the first, well, with the first Kong that gets their instrument. It, it, it's been so long since I actually read the dialogue of this game, um, that I don't remember all the fine little details. I swear to Christ, stupid vine is killing me there. Thank God that your health recovers every time you enter a building, or else I would have probably been dead now. There we go. I managed to cross the sand pit without taking damage for once. It's a freaking miracle. So yeah, I didn't mention it before. Uh, Tiny Kong has a saxophone. Lanky Kong has a trombone. Probably one of the... I don't want to really want to insult people too much, but it's just... It's one of those instruments I don't see a real purpose of, to be honest. I mean, some musical scholar could probably tell me off that it has some significant piece in history or whatever, but I don't know. I just don't really like the sound of trombones. And then we have the triangle for Chunky. Probably one of the least expected instruments for a gigantic ape like him, like himself. I don't know, just big burly ape gets tiny metallic triangle. Anyways, before we swap back to Diddy Kong to get his instrument, I'm going to go ahead and go to the start here and collect these bananas for Chunky, as well as open up this... I said open up this... There we go, that's one switch. Open this doorway to the crypt. And we see that we have some narrow pathways and what looks like jars. So go ahead and grab these bananas along these precarious pathways. As you can see, there's symbols on the floor and symbols on each jar. We gotta carry these jars back without falling into the sand pit, or else we'll drop them in the sand and unleash a curse upon all the Kongs all over the island. No, not that drastic, but we'll have to wait for them to respawn back at their original point, which can be kind of annoying at times. Uh, let's see, that one goes over here. If I can just line it up properly, there we go. Go ahead and get the falling into the sand out of the way before I craft this next one. This one was back here. Drop it there. And then find the freebie that they gave us early on. Goes right there. And then we get our first golden banana of the stage for Chunky Kong. So yeah, this is kind of where I was going off on the last video saying that, um... I was gonna start off with DK, try and get the... Each, video, each level start off with DK, but then swapping around Kongs as necessary that I can see, like figure out the easiest level progression as I go along. So it seemed easier to just go ahead and get that one out of the way for Chunky before I continue on with Diddy Kong because uh, we need him to open up the rest of the area. So with that being said, let's go ahead and grab his mu musical instrument, probably one of the better musical instruments of the group. And we're back to doing this again. It's gonna, it's gonna be a long video, I can already tell. Definitely one of the cooler, if not the coolest, musical instrument in the game, the guitar. Sadly, it doesn't see any use outside of this game, much like the DK Bongos do. Um, but then again, there were already a plethora of Guitar Hero-like games out on the market at the time. Whoa. No, I don't think Guitar Hero came out that quickly. I forget when... Uh, I cannot remember the name of the game now. Congo Blast? No, Congo... Donkey Konga, that's it. How did I have so much trouble remembering that? I've played that game so much. Anyways, I forget exactly when Donkey Konga came out, but I want to say that was around the time when Guitar Hero was a big thing, or slightly after Guitar Hero was a big thing, because... 
Yeah, a lot of people were into the, the whole play your own musical instrument on the on a electronic thing. Some people thought it was like, okay, this will help me try to get into wanting to learn to play a real instrument. Uh, but that didn't really happen because it was like five plastic buttons that you had to press with no movement of the hand or anything like that. Anyways, moving along, start talking about the game again. Inside this tip. Hate that thing. If I can stop long jumping, there we go. Really hate this place because I've had so many difficulties with trying to play through this area. Uh, both normally, right now, and as a kid. And that is with this part right here. If I could... There we go. Now, just adjust the... There we go. I can't tell you how many times I've had that uh, peanut go all the way over there just desync would despawn before I actually shoot the button or fall off the ledge like that because the camera started changing a little bit as I was moving such an annoying tightrope section there but it's necessary to open up the rest of this area so no skipping it unfortunately from what I know there might be a there might be a way to like clip through the frozen water to be able to start swimming down there, but I have no idea. Let's just line this back up again. Oh, you son of a bitch. How did that miss? How did that miss? There we go. Now let's fix the camera again, and... No, don't go off the ledge. Careful. Careful. Even the speedrunners have to take it somewhat slow on that area. Okay, no, I didn't want you to do that. I wanted you to want you to play your musical instrument, Diddy. Thank you. Christ. Speedrunners I've seen had to take it very not very slow, but rather slow on that part because I've they'll also fall down there. No no one's perfect when it comes to that section, except for Taz's, but that's not a person, that's a program by a person. Anyways. That part is very annoying. Nonetheless. That and the Pro Controller does not really help things out because, I don't know, the standard issue Nintendo ones anyways, they're completely circular around. So there's like, there's no notches for you to be able to like, while you're focusing on the game, paying attention to the screen, be able to feel where exactly the joystick is with like some sort of feedback. It's all completely circular, so you have to know exactly what position your thumb's in to figure out how which direction you're gonna be going in. And all these balloons around here are Tiny Kong, so Diddy has nothing else to do with this area. And we can go ahead and leave. Now, if we didn't have Diddy Kong already unlocked, that we'd had to be doing a puzzle there where we had to spell out the letters Kong uh, to be able to open up the gates freer. Speedrunners will swim, swim through the wall using the CF glitch to be able to get into the water underneath the cage where Tiny Kong is trapped and just jump up to be able to grab the banana and then unlock the puzzle to be able to... We'll solve the puzzle to be able to unlock her. But since we have her already, we don't have to worry about all that, which is why I love this route. It takes some of the tedium out of it, and then makes it to where we can just get the banana easily without having to glitch anything further. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and say this right now. I fucking hate the jetpack. With a passion. I cannot pilot this thing to save my life. Then again, it's probably just because I'm terrible with uh, D DK64 in general. That I just can't pilot it, but regardless, you're gonna see a lot of fail segments of me trying to use the jetpack and not being able to do successfully anything that's required with it several times. So I'm gonna go ahead and apologize in advance for that, but just know that I could not help it. <laughs> Anyways, go back to DK for now. We gotta continue on with the store, the progression of the level. Get these bananas up on top of these treetops here. Um, that's not what I wanted you to do. I did not want you to do that either. I wanted you to 
kick off the, the treetop there to be able to get some air like that. There we go. That's that's what I wanted to do before, but... Oh, well. Now let's go over to these vines here and not fail this part. Oh, I need Diddy for that part. Stop messing about! We're on it, we're on it, stupid llama. I don't know why you're so important, but... Christ, maybe someone's not... Maybe someone's missing some sort of spit reserve that you belong to, I don't know. Like, they need the extra production or something that they can't get while you're gone. Not what I told you, I told you to play the guitar, thank you. I don't know if there's such a thing as a spit reserve, that might be in this... in the DK universe somewhere. I, know, I remember the cartoon series was really, really weird. I wonder if anyone even remembers what the cartoon series was like. That was like... Back when I was a little kid, that was really ancient stuff. Really creepy and weird stuff, too, at the time. Uh, I don't want to really go towards Crane... Well, I guess I do, because of that panel over there. And then there's some balloons and bananas along this pathway as well for some Kongs. But I don't really need to get any uh, power-ups or anything. It does allow me to swap over Kongs while I'm in the middle of this, so I could go and get Tiny Kong and get her crush, I guess. I'm trying to debate whether I want to get the bananas as Link or not. There's a banana bunch right back there, so I think I'll go ahead and do it. Um, it shouldn't take too long to be able to do it. So long as I don't just walk off in to this get the uh, god damn dude yeah screw that I'm not doing it <laughs> not even bothering with it oh come on but there we go the balloon trolled me for a little bit there right let's give this one more attempt then dear god this is gonna be a long segment Okay, that wasn't so bad now. We'll just go all the way over towards the end of the cave here. Get the warp pad at the end of it and warp back. That'll be a lot quicker than trying to navigate that thing, I think. Also check to see if there's anything else for Lanky over here, which doesn't appear to be. It's just Tiny Kong stuff on this end, as well as a chunky thing. A chunky boulder. Alright, so that gets us back to the area with the llama. And this gets us back to Cranky. That gets us over to somewhere else I'll mention later on. I want to go ahead and go back over to here while we're go we're Lanky already. And go inside the temple as Lanky. Forget if it's on this side or the other side. It is on the other side. Slowly make my way over. There we go. Splat! Those guys get really annoying when they keep saying it over and over again. Anyways. Probably one of the more annoying uh, bananas inside of this temple. We don't need coins anymore, so I'm not going to worry about those with any Kong. Since we have all the weapons, we have all the uh, cranky moves, we have all the music upgrades from Candy. Uh, we have nothing else to do with that, so... Over here, let's go ahead and grab all these bananas before we do anything. As you can see, there's um, a crown battle pad right there. We'll have to worry about that after we get the water lowered up. Um, can't activate while the water is raised because we can't do it underwater for some reason. That just really sucks, but oh well. Get up here. Activate the switch here. And the stone monkey mouths open up to release a buzzard hole carrying a banana. Yeah, I don't get it myself, but the gist of this is to try to, to shoot the buzzard, which I am failing to do that miserably. Aiming is not my specialty with joysticks. Jesus Christ. Oh, you... You cocksucker. Okay. No, that didn't hit either. There we go, finally. I wasted, what, 30, 30 grades before I actually hit him once? 
And then I hit him the next time around. Okay, that's good. That's getting better. Come on. He gets slower and smaller each time, so it makes it a little... Well, it makes it harder to hit because he's smaller, it makes it easier at the same time because he goes slower. He doesn't have enough speed to be able... To, he doesn't have ability to carry the minute as fast anymore because of how small he is. He doesn't have the upper body strength. And with that, the buzzer just dies, falls in the water, and we get the banana. Yay. Now the water lowers itself, we can access that battle arena pad. Not really anything to talk about these. Just run away from the Kremlings as they endlessly chase you for days. Uh, you know, with three of you like that, you could probably split up and surround me and be able to take me that way really easily, but no, you're just mindless little Kremlings that cannot think for yourselves. And there we go. You die. You all die because of your stupidity. Alright, so now we're talking with the temple area for a Lanky Kong. Really easy and straightforward uh, little segment there. I'm forgetting... What should we do next for this? I don't know if there's anything else to do with Lanky for right now, or if I need to set some stuff up with a Tiny Kong or Diddy Kong or what. But regardless, um... Let's go ahead and swap Kongs. I'll try to figure out which one I want to go. I think I want to go with Tiny, though. Uh, go back into the caves and then get the crush, uh, get the banana trail, and also get this temple taken care of, so... Since we're already here, we'll take care of the temple. Followed by the banana trail and the crush, uh, and then move on from there. Sound logic is sound. And slippery slopes are very slippery. Curse you slippery slopes. Alright. If I recall, the barrel's over on this side? No. It's over on the other side. That I started going to originally, but then swapped over. So now that we're mini, we need to go underwater and swim into a very tiny hole in the wall to be able to uh, get to the area that's required for a golden banana. Not really much else to say about it. Thankfully, once you get into the small area right here, the countdown against your uh, crystal coconuts stops. So you basically have infinite crystal coconuts at this point, and I did that way too soon. The enemies didn't even start spawning in yet. Luckily, it's just these things, and they're really easy to kill. They're extremely easy to kill. You just slide into them, and there we go! Banana secured right away. No effort at all. There we go, grab that last banana for that trail that I missed somehow the first time around. And... Go ahead and go over here to where we freed Tiny Kong the first time around, or was supposed to free Tiny Kong, but we already did that way two videos ago. Way in the past. Um, and shoot these balloons here. Nope, overpredicted on that one. Um, there we go. Bullseye. And now we're done with the temple for Tiny Kong. That's. Well, let's go ahead and get the ammo in the film, because we're going to need those. We're going to need a lot of ammo in the film. We might need a lot of. I'm not sure if we're going to need a lot of film. It just really depends on how these two fairies are going to be. If they're going to be complete asshats or if they're going to be playing nice. Uh, but we'll prepare for them to be asshats and just hope for the best. Uh, over here is the Chunky Kong thing. Can't do anything over here. Honestly, I don't know about many other people, but that area when I was a kid playing this for the first time, that particular area, for whatever reason, scared the living shit out of me every single time. 
Like, I refused to ever go down to that area to do anything there. I actually had to get my father at the time to play for me and go through that area. Uh, mainly it was because of how dark it was, the, the screen was in that area at the time. Parents love to keep the TV screen really dark for whatever reason. They said it was to help keep the set the set from burning in too easily, or burning up too easily, rather. No clue if that is actually true or not, but I guess if it worked at the time, it worked at the time. If I have no idea how well those old TV models worked. Anyways, not like I could have changed it anyways. I didn't know how to change TV at that age, or rather change the settings on the TV. I knew how to change channel and change volume, that was about it. You just twist the knob over one way or the other. It's one of those old kind of TVs there. Anyways, childhood story over with. Welcome to this really creepy room. Just a lot of these annoying guys again. Like Much like we faced with uh, Tiny Kong. And then suddenly the room rotates and we fight more enemies again. And it's the same enemies too. I'm terrible with trying to do that, um, that gorilla punch. Just takes so long to charge up and then it's so ineffective. Ow! You little bastard. How dare you hit me from behind like that. Right. Two turns down. Come on. And there always seems to be one that gets stuck right there in the back of the room. The, um... The mouth there, I have no idea why. Every single- Ow, you little bastard! Seriously. Cut the shit with that. Alright. Weird camera there, but okay. Now we should be completely done with this area. I'm gonna go ahead and grab these banana bunches because, dear god, there's a lot of them. You'd be stupid to pass up all of these. And kill you because I hate you. You looked at me funny. And I said I was done with this area, but I, I kind of lied. I forgot at the time about the, um, the balloon that's over here. So we'll go ahead and grab that real quick, and then we'll be done. Can I get it from this angle, or... I don't know if I can get it from this angle. Where is it at? Let's go over here, I guess. There it is. Bullseye! I actually hit it with the first shot. I didn't have to shoot all those times. Oh well. Better safe than sorry with that. Waste a few extra ammo. It's not like we're gonna need those two specific ammos later on. And then watch me be two ammo short of killing something and be like, Son of a bitch, I wish I didn't spam that shots at that balloon that one time. But I've never had that happen before, so I don't think I'll happen again. Or ever happen, I should say. Now then. Can I get over this without taking damage one time, please? Ugh. Go ahead and continue this area with DK, and over here we have steps to another temple with a llama face on it, as you can see, and one of these barrel blast bonanza places, joy. There's at least one in every world, which really sucks, but I guess it's to make the, the move useful at all times. And I com I missed that by just barely clipping over the corner of the barrel. I blame you, input delay. Stupid Wii Virtual Console. And... good. I've had times where I'd go clip the corner of the star and it not count. Because there's a stingy little bastard like that. And for freeing the llama, he gives us a golden banana. Back there. At the beginning. Then we have to go all the way over there to get. Hmm. 
Well, let's go and take care of that, I guess. I mean, well, why not? That way we won't have to return to that part of the level any ever again. And there we go. And with that, I think we're done with DK for now again. Um, let's go ahead and swap over to Tiny Kong and go through the tunnel to be able to get her bananas and Crusha. I'm trying to think of whether or not I'd want to do, if I would want to do Chunky's part here next or not, just to be done with this um, little temple area, this little cave area, rather. Yeah, I think I'll go ahead and do Chunky's after this, unless I can think of something else I need to do instead. Ah, a stupid grenade actually exploded and caught me there. I did not expect that. Now, can I actually get Chunky across this safely? Oh, almost. I slid too far off of that platform there. Oh well. Just helicopter my way down the hall. I forgot I need to go ahead and be big chunky to actually lift that thing. There we go. I was actually a little bit shocked I managed to long jump into it. But it worked out. Hooray. Yes, that's right. Flee. Flee in terror at my humongous size. There we go. It's dropped successfully on that pedestal there that raises that gate. Um, now let's go ahead and get this banana. Cheeky little bastard got a cheap shot of me there. I forget which mini game this is. Welcome to bonus oh, but busy barrel barrage. Yeah, this one is not a fun mini game. Stay in place and just spray and pray basically for 45 seconds. Absolutely nothing to talk about for this section, sadly. I guess it was kind of an interesting idea on paper, but. To me, it's just not an enjoyable mini game. Not necessarily one of my least favorites because that Celta mini games are absolutely atrociously done, and I just att attest with every fiber of my being. The only way you can actually lose this mini game is if you do this right here. And even then, I still won with the buzzer beater. <laughs> But yeah, um, one more banana, and I forget if I hit, got Chunky's blueprint or yet or not. I don't think I got Chunky's blueprint. I only got, let's see, I got DKs at the beginning, then I got Diddy's, and then I got Tiny's. So yeah, I haven't got Chunky's blueprint yet. So we still got a long way to go with this video. Probably gonna take me close to an hour and a half, possibly. Hopefully not two hours, because that would be kind of ridiculous, actually. Chunky has some bananas along the bottom part of this pathway here. And this should get him his... We're one banana short. Okay, never mind, there's bananas over on here. Good. Um, let me try to think... Is there anything else I can do with Chunky right now? I don't think there is. There's a Snide's HQ over there if we wanted to take care of that, but... I think I'll go ahead and take care of 
Diddy Kong next. He has a thing over here with um some chimichurri gongs. Let's see if I can pull this off properly. You gotta hit all four of these gongs, and that'll raise that thing up there. I don't know why I was going so slow with that. I did not want you to backflip there. So basically it just is Chimpy Charge from the gong, facing away from it, over to, um, to the center there, and hope they get on top of it. No! You're not supposed to bonk on an invisible wall right there. You're supposed to climb up on top of that thing. God damn it. So that's going to make it harder for me to get to that banana right up there. I have to go and get a jetpack to be able to get up there. Thanks a lot, game. Couldn't let me pull off something fun and useful like that. No. Gotta come out with a fucking invisible wall to stop me. That's the ultimate cock block of this game. Invisible walls. And bonking on stuff that's not there. For no reason. Oh well. Try to get around here so that way... I was gonna try to get around there so that way I can climb the tree easier, but oh well, it didn't want to let me do that either. That doesn't want to let me have anything to do with any fun here. Son of a bitch. Right. Let's just go over here and grab the jetpack then, and... No, if those are lanky bananas, never mind. Hooray, jetpack fun! We I really, really do not like controlling the jetpack. As you can see, I'm going all over the place. I can't keep a steady altitude. I can't really move. I, I, I move sporadically. I didn't even get to keep my jetpack, and I fall to take damage like that by flattening myself into a pancake. Oh well. Grab some more of these crystal coconuts around here, then. And... Fly through this thing. Hopefully I can do this properly. Nope. I fuck up on the very first one. Oh, come on, dude. No! I was right there, I jumped out of the sand. You're not supposed to hit me when I jump out of the sand. Alright, let's try this again. Alright. Good. That actually counted. I'm a little bit shocked that actually counted there. If I didn't go through it, I just went in front of it. But, whatever. Uh, it, sound, it seems like there was supposed to be something else I do with the jetpack while I'm waiting for this buzzer to fly over to the starting point of the race, but I can't quite remember what it is right now off the top of my head. Um, what was it? Well, it doesn't look like I'm flying anywhere because I just fall to my death in the sand here, and I'm... If I didn't get the watermelon upgrades yet, I would be dead right now. Holy shit. Well, actually, I would have died two hits ago, but that's beside the point. Alright, let's grab the jetpack and see if I can pull this off. It'd be a miracle if I do it on the first attempt. Uh, depth, depth perception, please? Wow. I could not get through the first ring there because of depth perception, like... I don't know, maybe it was just me? I don't know if the recording will show it off or not. But it looked like I kept going through the ring itself instead of, um... Flying through the space... The open space of the ring. It's like, I was going through the ring itself. I don't know, maybe it's just me. That's really fucking irritating. That I lose it on the very first... Fucking ring because of that shit. This thing is so fucking awkward to control, though. Holy shit. And there we go. We're going through the ring again and not counting. Alright. 
Third time's a try, maybe? Please? I don't want to be stuck on this one thing forever. That would just really make me look like a dumbass. Oh my god, death perception, please. Don't do this to me right now. There we go. Now, now we're getting it. Now we're getting it. Now we're going too low. There we go. Just try to maintain the steady altitude. Don't, don't sporadically jump up too far or anything. Wait, how far is this thing supposed to go? There we go. That's more like it. Seems like there's supposed to be something I'm supposed to do with the um, the statue there, but I really did test that statue. Uh, I forget if there was a way to enter that as Diddy Kong. No, there wasn't. It's just DK, Tiny, and Lanky Kong. But it seems like I was supposed to be doing something to activate that statue in the center there, and I'm just not being able to... It might be what I was supposed to have done while I was prepping the flight over there. Uh, those areas we can't access yet because they're all locked. I want to say something inside will allow us to unlock those doors. Like inside the Llama Temple, I want to say. But yeah, this fucker right here. He eats all the peanuts. And I hate him. Is there a way like glitch inside us so we don't have to swap over to... Uh, DK or Tiny or Lanky. No, I don't think there is. Oh, I could use these ammo crates actually now I'm thinking about it. Just grab them all around the outside. There we go. And right, with that, um... Trying to think what to do with Diddy Kong now. I want to say that's it for Diddy, actually. That I can pull off right now, anyways. Is there anything over on this side? I don't think so. Um. Yeah, let's just swap over Kongs. And since we're over here, let's go ahead and swap over to Tiny Kong. Get the second most annoying part of this level out of the way. I really, really despise having to do this part of the level. Like, I was dreading having to do this when I started this project. So, beam us up, Squarks. Take us to the top of the tower. And there we go. 